All right, hey everyone, for this pro tip, I wanna talk about customizing the workbook ribbon with your own tabs. Now, what a lot of Excel users don't realize is that you have full control to customize and personalize exactly what your ribbon looks like. So Excel has tools that allow you to add, remove, or rearrange tabs and tools in your workbook ribbon, including the quick access toolbar. Now those quick access tools, they live above the ribbon, above your main tabs, and by default, they include options like save, undo, and redo. So a couple ways to customize those quick access tools. You can head to your file options pane and click into the quick access toolbar tab. That's gonna show you the list of tools included in that toolbar. Again, save, undo, redo by default, and you can simply search for popular commands or tools and drag them into that list to customize the toolbar. But an easier way to do that is to simply right click any particular tool right from your ribbon and click that add to quick access toolbar option. And removing them is just as easy. You can right click from within the toolbar itself and choose remove. Now to customize the ribbon itself and your core tools and menus, you can head to file, options, customize ribbon, and determine how to show, hide, or rearrange the tabs in your ribbon right from this window on the right. And what you can also do is actually create brand new tabs to consolidate your most commonly used tools. So a few use cases here, again, consolidating those tools into a single custom tab or exposing other tabs like developer, which may not be shown by default. So let's head into Excel and give this a shot. All right, here we are in our Excel Pro Tips workbook. I'm in the blue customizing the ribbon tab. And what we're gonna do here is just demonstrate how we can add or remove tools from our quick access toolbar here at the top of the window and how we can customize our ribbon here by adding our own custom tabs. So first and foremost, if we wanna add tools to the quick access toolbar, it's very, very simple. The easiest way to do it is to simply hover over the tool you want, like copy for instance, right click and select add to quick access toolbar. Now that's added an icon to the toolbar up top that's centrally accessible no matter which tab I'm currently in. Suppose that's why they call it the quick access toolbar. Um, again, with paste, same story here, right click, add to quick access toolbar. Now, if I change my mind and I want to remove some tools or go back to the default, I can simply right click from the toolbar itself and choose remove, it's as simple as that. Now, as far as customizing our core ribbon and our tabs and tool categories here, there are a few ways to access those options. The first is to choose file, options, and navigate to the customize ribbon tab within our options dialog box. But there's a quicker way, which is just right clicking any location within the ribbon itself and choosing customize the ribbon. That will navigate straight to that tab within your options. And what this will show me is my current ribbon configuration. So which tabs and which groups of tools are currently visible and accessible in my ribbon. So right now I've got the home tab, the insert tab, page layout, formulas, data, and so on and so forth. So note this developer tab here. For most new versions of Excel, you may see that box unchecked. So if you wanna access the Visual Basic Editor and play with VBA, write macros, insert form controls, you may need to access this customize ribbon option and check that developer box to make the tab visible. So we could drill into each of these tabs and actually customize the tool groupings within them. In this case, I don't really wanna mess with my default settings. I just wanna add a brand new tool or a brand new tab uh, to my ribbon containing a custom group. And we can go ahead and click the new tab, custom, right click and rename it something uh, that makes more sense to us, like favorites. And what I wanna do here is just drop in a bunch of my favorite data and analytics tools so that they're more easily accessible in one place. So I can navigate this left pane here. Right now I'm looking at the popular commands. You can also look at all commands, which is a pretty overwhelming list or you can look at all tabs, which shows kind of the current layout um, and allows you to drill in select tools from within either the main tabs or the tool specific tabs like pivot table tools, table tools, sparkline tools, et cetera. 
So in this case, I'm just going to start finding some of the tools that I want to consolidate here in my favorites tab. So I'm going to start with insert. Definitely want to insert some tables here because I use pivot tables and tables quite a bit. Now within this grouping, I could insert just pivot tables alone, or I can select the group, which would insert all three of these options at the same time. So let's go ahead and add that to our favorites tab. And there you go. It's populated it right here. You can do the same thing with our spark lines. Let's add spark lines to that category. And why don't we go into data and get and transform. I want this get data option as well. And it says they needed to be added to custom groups. So pick a tab, then click new group. So I just need to select that new group option and press add. So there you go. I've got get data. I've got table tools, sparkline tools. Obviously, you could continue to do this until you have a full set of tools that you'd like to access. But in this case, that should be just fine. Let's go ahead and press OK. And there you go. It inserted that new tab right where it's located in the pane in our options menu right after home. And within that favorites tab, we've got our get data command. We've got our table tools, which contain pivots, recommended pivots and tables. And we've got our sparkline group as well. So really helpful tool for organization and quick access. But if you want to undo that or remove your custom tab, it's pretty simple. You can right click, customize the ribbon, navigate to your new favorites or custom tab, whatever you named it, simply right click, remove it, press OK. And there you go. I'm right back to where I started from. So there you go. Customizing the quick access toolbar and the Excel ribbon.